questioned who's in the mood to making an easy Oreo pie. Yum. And thank you, Sharon Jackson. Back in a minute. Hey, this is Jan from New York City. My channel name is Jan from New York City Saves Money. How's everybody doing this evening? If you are brand new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are a veteran viewer here, thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you're just dropping by to say hello, hello. Hope you come back one day and stick around. Thank you so much. Thank you for the thumbs up and for being here and sharing my videos. I really, really do appreciate every single one of you. Recently, Sharon Jackson had given me a couple of recipes. And last week, in case you missed it, I'm letting you know this, that I shared a recipe from Sharon Jackson. Thanks again, Sharon. How to make an easy pie crust from, of all things, boxed cake mix. Hello. Most of us have a box of something laying around. She happened to have used chocolate. And using her own chocolate cake mix made I mean, chocolate cake mix that she turned into an easy pie crust. She is also going on to say that we can make an easy Oreo pie. So there. So here's what you're going to need. Going to need eight ounces of cream cheese softened. One third cup of sugar. A tub of that Cool Whip type topping. If it's not that brand, you could interchange it with another similar brand like that. Cool Whip type topping. 8 to 10 Oreo cookies chopped. And this will yield you one 9-inch pie. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to blend the cream cheese and the sugar until light and fluffy. You're going to fold in chopped Oreos. And save a few on the top to sprinkle on top of your pie for later on, like as a garnish. You're going to fold in the chopped Oreos, save a few to sprinkle on top, and cool whip. Pour filling into a chocolate pie crust. Refrigerate for two hours until or until firm. Wow, that sounds so, so really good. Sharon went on to say that she knew someone that liked red velvet cake and she filled up her friend filled up that pie with chocolate pudding and topped with whipped cream. Woo! That sounds nothing short other than amazing. So there you go. Promise kept. Oh, by the way, here's a bonus recipe. Sharon also had given me a recipe for veggie pizza. So if you're still Interested in writing down recipes? I'm gonna I'm going to add these recipes in the description box below. But you could give a listen. Veggie pizza, two tubes of crescent rolls. Then you're gonna mix 16 ounce uh, cream cheese with a package of ranch dressing mix. Um, the original recipe she said calls for one cup of mayo also, but she never needed to use it. Uh, you spread out the rolled out, spread the rolls out rather, pinch seams, bake at 375 for 15 to 20 minutes, let it cool down, then spread the cream cheese mixture on the top, top with anything you like, chopped broccoli, cauliflower, green onions, shredded carrots, peppers, and some finely shredded cheese of choice that sounds way too good that sounds way too affordable i think i may try that one day i just think i will not right this minute but one day another outside noise this truly is the city <laughs> there you go promise kept promise kept in the meantime have an amazing fantastic evening or day, depends when I decided to upload this. And of course, stick around, I want to end the broadcast and give you a wave. Thanks again, everyone. Have an amazing, fantastic day.